Welcome to another lesson. In today's session, we are going to learn how we can measure the length using an encoder. First of all, as the bar comes in front of the sensor, on the rising edge of the sensor, we have to record total distance traveled by the bell. Let's suppose it is equal to A. And as the bar leaves the sensor, on the falling edge of the sensor, we will again record the distance traveled by the bell equal to B. So the bar length will be equal to B minus A. Now the question is that how we can detect or measure the distance traveled by the belt. Know the circumference of the encoder wheel. In our case, the circumference of the encoder wheel is 250 mm. Next, the encoder pulses per revolution is 100. So the distance traveled by the belt per pulse of the encoder will be equal to 250 divided by 100 and it is 2.5 mm. So for the each pulse of the encoder, Distance traveled by the belt is 2.5 mm. Now let's go to the somatic measurement. In the last lesson, we have learned how to connect an encoder with the PFC and how to read its value. So our encoder value was coming at MD20 data register. In the next network, we will convert the encoder value to the real value using this conversion instruction. Next, we have to multiply this real value to the factor 2.5, which we have calculated earlier. The value will be stored into the MD24, which is total belt length travel. In the network number 3, now as the bar comes in front of the sensor at 0 0.0, on the rising edge, move this total belt length travel to the starting length count, which is MD30. So basically, MD30 will take a load of total belt length traveled at the rising edge of the sensor. And as the bar leaves the sensor on the negative edge, we will minus this MD30 from the current or the total length traveled by the belt, which is MD24. This will give us the total bar length. Now, as you can see that as the bar comes in front of the sensor I 0, 0.0, on the rising edge, it moves the total length traveled by the bell to the MD30. And if we see here, the start count is 37.5. Now, as the bar leaves the sensor on the negative edge, it subtract the starting belt length count from the total belt travel, which is MD24 and store the result in MD40, which is the power length. And if you see here, the total power length is 52.5.